Okay, so if uh, you're not able to add the device or you forget your password and you want to reset it back to factory settings on this D-Link cloud camera, then we're going to plug it in and then reset it with a, pa uh, a paper clip or a, a thumbtack. Works good for me. Okay, you want to make sure it's plugged in. Plug it in. And then you want to hold down this reset button for 10 seconds. Okay, it's red. We're going to hold it down for 10 seconds. Okay, it turned off. The indicator here turned off. Keep holding it. I heard a click. Heard another click. Okay, now it's red again. Okay, let go of the paper clip. And let's see what color it changes. Should change to orange. And this works if you uh, have forgotten your password or maybe you, got, you bought it used or something. Okay, it turned off. It blinked. I heard a click. And you can do this a couple different times. Um, when I first got this camera, I, I had to do it. And it was a brand new camera. Okay, it's kind of orangish yellow blinking. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's kind of blurry. But it's not red anymore. There's like a yellow LED mixed with red. So now you're ready to add the camera. It's fully reset. And now just try uh, re-adding re, uh, it to your phone, to your My D Link at a device. And uh, that's in the setup wizard. So hope that helps you out here. And then uh, with mounting it, here's the SD card slot in the side. There's that, and then I do like this adjustment and the the, um, the cable keeper there, and then there's the two buttons on the side here. You press them both at the same time, and then you can get to the, the mounting area, these two holes here. Screw those to the wall first. Fish this cable through there, and then you can just snap it on there. And this whole thing swivels too. It's a it's a pretty nice uh, cloud camera. I recommend it. And you get free uh, one day storage. So if somebody stole this and it still had the SD card, um, you kind of be. Uh, um, if it's on the cloud though, you have to go into the settings and change it to cloud. Get that set up. It only takes a second. Um, then uh, you can go back and watch the cloud recording, even if you don't have the camera anymore, or the SD card. So, if this helped you, please like and subscribe. Thank you. There's one more thing I want to mention with this camera. When, you, when you're setting it up and trying to add the device, I already had a D-Link camera in my, um, my D-Link. You want to, uh, it's, it's the picture, not on the, not on the instructions, but on the back of the camera, there's a, I don't want to give you too much information here on this camera, but um, you can see the the, um, the QR code right here. That's the one you want to scan, and uh, and it'll pick it up and then add it when it when it asks for the QR code. It's the one on the back, and uh, if it asks for like the pin code and all that, that's on the back of the camera too, right above the right above that QR code. But I had the best luck with, with being able to scan that. And it's not the one on the instructions. It's the one on the back of the camera. All right. Hope that helps you guys. And like this so other people can find it. And uh, so you can find it again later when you need to reset it. All right. Thanks.